Big thanks to PUBG Mobile for sponsoring today's video. Hi, my name's Dab, and in today's video, we're gonna go over everything you need to know about Metro Royale's newest map, Arctic Base. I'll give you all the info about spawn points and squad and solos, plus which rotations to make, the password letter and shop door locations, where to find the bosses and the best way to tackle them, where the best places to loot are, and all the added mechanics and items on the new map. But first, let's take a second to read a little bit of lore about this mysterious deserted military base. The Steel Front was secretly building an intercontinental missile launching base at the edge of the polar region, but for undisclosed reasons, the constructions of the base was completely halted. At the same time, the Cobras were secretly potting something in the area. The once scenic territory is now filled with danger, and this map comes with many wide open areas with a clear hotspot in the middle of the map. Arctic Base also has the biggest radiation zone we've ever seen in Metro Royale. It's abundant in resources and will be the best place to farm a fortune of Metro Cash. PUBG Mobile just dropped version 3.0. This came with a massive Metro Royale update, as well as a new themed classic mode called Shadow Force, where you get to dive into urban chaos with renovated hot drops, a new respawn system, and a brand new weapon, the Shadow Blade. Go down below and tap the download link now. And to celebrate the massive 3.0 update, PUBG Mobile has asked me and Powerbank to host the Snowstorm Extraction event. 16 creators will compete against each other on Metro Royale's newest map, Arctic Base. They will be given a set of challenges to complete for points, and there's going to be a $10,000 prize pull up for grabs with $5,000 for placement and another $5,000 in special bounties. And for the first time ever, instead of playing in one of these, I get to host it with Power Bank, and I'm super excited about that. So make sure you tune in on January 25th at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern on PUBG Mobile's YouTube and Facebook channel. And you can set a reminder for this easily with the scheduled stream link down below. Big shout out to PUBG Mobile again for sponsoring today's video and congratulations on such a successful update. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the spawn points and which rotations you should make. First, let's take a look at the squad spawn map. As you can see, the majority of the spawns are all around the edge of the circular shape map. There will, however, be one lucky squad that has a potential to spawn right near the front door of radiation. Most squads will push straight towards the closest tunnel entrance near them, so if you're trying to catch a squad off guard, you can go to a tunnel entrance towards one of the other spawns to have early fights in the match. Something important to remember is that in each of the four tunnels, there is a starting entrance and then a halfway entrance. So if you're the team that enters at the start of the tunnel, be very careful when approaching the halfway point because another squad could be waiting there. Next, let's look at the solo map. Once you play solo versus solo for a while, you'll learn that this map is actually way bigger than you think it is. The two kilometer by two kilometer size is plenty to accommodate this many solo players. Each spawn location has several strategies you can deploy, whether it be looting or PVP, so I'll let you figure out what your favorite route to take from each spawn is. Just know everyone will most likely be rushing towards radiation, so always bet on finding some action at those tunnel entrances early match. If you find this video helpful at all, make sure you hit the like button as that helps me more than you know. Know. And if you enjoy Metro Royale content, make sure you subscribe! Next, let's go over the password doors. There are four total password letter doors in the Arctic base. The red, the yellow, and two black. In basic and advanced, the red and yellow doors will always be accessible. You can only access the black doors on the advanced version, but there is a catch. Only one of them will be active per match. So sometimes door A will be active, and other times it's door B. A few minutes into the match, black doors will show up on the map with the one available showing a green check mark on the icon. One thing to keep in mind is once you open either black door, the icon will change to an open door icon, and this shows up on everybody's map in the lobby, so be ready for an ambush when you leave. Each black door has three supply crates with super high loot chances. The yellow door has three weapon crates, one supply crate, and one filing cabinet. The red door has one weapon crate, two supply crates, and one filing cabinet. Next, let's go over the shop locations. Like OBZ and Misty Port, Arctic Base has two shops. There's one at the lower hydro station, but be careful, this one is in the wide open and you can easily be taken out in the shop inventory, so be quick. And the other is at the arsenal outside of the entrance of the frozen river. This one will be the hotter of the two shops, being right outside of the radiation zone, so be careful when approaching and shopping. Next, let's go over all the bosses on the map. In Arctic Base, there's a total of five bosses. The first one I want to talk about is the Arctic Commander in Radiation. This boss uses an ice gun to slow you and your gun's firing speed. Speed. And the Arctic Commander will always drop either a red, yellow, or black password letter. When fighting this boss, make sure you blow up the tanks on its back quickly so that you can disable the ice gun, and then get super close to get heavy damaging headshots. Now the other four are outside of the radiation zone. The Armory Outpost is guarded by another Arctic Commander. The Support Center is guarded by a normal Stillfront Commander. The 
special barracks is guarded by the Robo Ravager, a ninja shotgun boss that has a pack of robot dogs that will demolish you, so be careful. And the last and most powerful boss is the plated tank that spawns in at the 19 minute mark along the northeastern road outside of the missile silo walls. This tank is decked out with an MG3 on top and will fire explosive missiles at you that can destroy cover and one tap you if you're not careful. And there is another unmarked mini boss known as Raptor Man located at the big building in the northern half of the arsenal. Now he's not marked and there's no name above his head, but he's clearly unique and actually can drop refined weapons. Now let's go over the best loot locations. Looting and getting rich means everything in Metro Royale, so let's talk about the best loot locations. The radiation zone on the Arctic base will be a hotspot for the best loot you can get in all of Metro Royale. This radiation zone is packed full of loot, with 59 supply crates total, with six of those being behind black doors. That leaves 53 supply crates free for the taking. There's also 11 filing cabinets, and these drop either a password letter or cash crates. And the 11 weapon crates out here are the best chances at fabled weapons I've ever had. Other than radiation, the underground area has a ton of supply crates and all of the boss compounds outside of radiation have a lot of loot as well if you're playing the basic mode a unique place to check out is area z underground advanced mode does not have access to this and here you can get a good chance at high tier loot last mentionable place is obviously all the bosses loot especially the tank boss who drops a gold pile in advance and a gold bar in basic now let's go over a couple of the new mechanics and items Spread across the map are these new machines you can interact with that allow you to convert items of epic rarity for cash crates. You can convert three epics per machine and there are a few spread throughout the map. And this is perfect when you get full mid-match. Go convert some of your items for cash crates and make more room for more looting. They have added vertical zip lines all over the arctic base. All tunnel entrances will have zip lines that you can use to save losing half your health to fall damage. But be careful for any enemies that may have used it before you as they could be camping at the bottom waiting for you. Not that this has much of an effect on your gameplay, but sometimes it will snow on this map to add a little realism and a new aspect to the game. Another thing in the arctic base, you'll notice that the tunnels are way nicer than the other maps having better lighting and nicer textures. And with the addition of the arctic base, they have also added the tactical alarm device. It can be deployed on the ground during a match to detect the positions of nearby enemies. But if you walk too far away, it will deactivate, so only put this down if you plan on sticking near it. Now I want to go over the differences of the advanced version and the basic version of this new map. In the advanced map, the red, yellow, and black doors are available, and on basic, only the red and yellow are accessible. In basic mode, you can see the doors for the shops, but you can't actually interact with them. The tank boss drops a gold pile on advanced, and a gold bar on basic. And the advanced mode gets a radiation zone, whereas the basic mode gets the special area Z located underground. Overall, this map is easily my new favorite map, and the 3.0 update on PUBG Mobile is the biggest update for Metro Royale that they've ever done so far. With all the love Tencent is giving Metro Royale, it makes me so hopeful for the future of the mode and i can see the metro community only having positive vibes towards this update so if you haven't started your metro royale journey or you're an og player that hasn't played in a while now is a better time than ever to get back into the game big thanks to pubg mobile again for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to tune in january 25th at 5 p.m pacific time 8 p.m eastern on pubg mobile's youtube and facebook channel to watch me host the snowstorm extraction event if you love metro royale content and want to stay up to date on all metro royale news tips tricks and guides then go down below and subscribe with the bell notification turned on and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and comment WMAP if you made it this far. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Later.